with a very urgent matter, my lord. The, the matter was mentioned yesterday. My lord, sir, please to grant leave to file the appeal. Ah. Uh, my lord, uh, the appeal has been filed. The stay application has also been filed yesterday. Ah. But, uh, if your lordship may kindly take up this matter today at two o'clock, my lord. What so, is the urgency, sir? But the urgency is, my lord, the uh, court has allowed ah. a demonstration to take place hmm. in a uh, crossing. Hmm. Uh, which is called uh, Victor in uh, front of Victoria House, hmm. which is to take place on 29th. Now, my lord, that is not an established place where, my lord, these demonstrations happen, except, my lord, one, uh, once a year, which is going on for the last 30 years. Hmm. Now, difficulties, my lord, we have pointed out, hmm. and we, uh, we, uh, the cancellation was hmm. because it was not at proper time as per the procedure. But, my lord, we had... Uh, uh, we'll, or... we'll take it up as the first case tomorrow. Very well. Very well. First case tomorrow. Okay. You but I, uh... my lord, I was appearing for the petition as my lord. But, uh, I was beseeching my lord, my lord, may kindly take it up today, my lord, because at 2 o'clock, my lord, the matter is fixed before the Honorable Single Judge, my lord. The Honorable Single Judge had permitted, my lord, the meeting to be held. 29th is the date of the meeting. Now, I'll tell mm -hmm. you, lordship, what happened, my lord, yesterday... My lord, the appellants appeared before your lordship, just prayed for my lord leave to file the appeal without the certified copy. Now, we took out my lord uh, from the computer, uh, from the server of the high court, my lord. The returnable date, my lord, was deliberately given as my lord while filing as 28th of November. That is basically, <laughs> my lord, to frustrate the order. So, no, yesterday no. we had indicated that, my lord, before the honorable single judge, Mr. Dotto was not there, my lord. Uh, there was some uh, other learned counsel, my lord, representing the state, my lord. So on that basis, my lord, the matter has been fixed at two o'clock today, my lord. Why I'll tell you, my lord, the urgency, my lord, my lord, this is not a demonstration, my lord. It's a political program, my lord, which is being, my lord, conducted, my lord, intended to be conducted, my lord, by the Bharatiya Janta Party, my lord. So, my lord, uh, every year, my lord, at this particular place, my lord, it is not a case, my lord, that this is not a, my lord, proper earmark place because, my lord, the another political party, which is the ruling party in West Bengal, or on the twenty-first of July every year and annually, my lord political programs are conducted. Now, in this particular place, my lord, there are instances, orders of the Honorable High Court, my lord, orders were passed on the basis whereof, my lord, previously also, my lord, this particular political party, which is the writ petition here in, my lord, they have also, my lord, conducted the program, my lord. My lord no, here, no. Why, why, why can't it be taken up as the first case tomorrow? My lord, uh, today, Bolesen, Rochai Bolesen, tomorrow, first case. Very well, my lord, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, first case. You please make a request, a joint request to the uh, Honorable uh, Single Bench that the appeal is to be heard tomorrow. Hmm? My, my because, uh, Mr. Dato, what uh, your uh, friend says is that the returnable date was given as 28-11. Yes, yes. yes. Well, I'll check up, Miller. That may be Miller, the uh, ministerial error, Miller. Uh, okay. Now, the, all the parties have been served? Yes, yes. Now, the appellant is the state, is it? Yes, the appellant is the state. But we'll come back tomorrow, minute. We'll pray, uh, pray for an accommodation before the learned single judgment. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm grateful. Eve of Justice Bhattacharya, my lord. May I be permitted to mention, my lord, before your lordship in administrative side, my lord. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. Uh, thank you. Yeah, lord, may I be permitted to mention, my lord, one matter, my lord, which was mentioned. All mentioning before. tomorrow, sir. Uh, tomorrow. Uh, please accommodate us. I need to file an appeal with a certified copy of the order. Yes, yes. Leave granted. My lord, may my lord be uh, may I be permitted to take leave from my lord uh, to file an application regarding habeas corpus, my lord. My lord, the girl is. Why? Why do you require a leave from, from us? You there's a do. It's an urgent matter. May my lord be here? Can hear it No, no. You mentioned right? before the appropriate division bench. Yes, please call the list. Appellate side, daily listed matters, item number one. Uh brother, this is that so much matter. Yes. Who, who will appear for the uh, High Court? Uh, Lord, I am appearing in an identical uh, matter, in a, uh, which is item 211 of the monthly list. That is also instituted under directions from the Honorable Supreme Court in the... So, uh, two, 211, that is yes. also a Suomoto... Uh, Suomoto case? against MPs and MLAs. Lord, okay. I was humbly so praying... What I, I was, uh, no, no, what uh, we were contemplating is, we will uh, list the matter before a... Uh, a yeah, division bench which is dealing with the criminal matters. Very well. So, so that uh, you, you'll, your presence, the prosecutor's presence, everything will be there instead of uh, retaining it in the in this bench. 
Huh? But I was humbly praying, let both the matters be tagged together. Yes, yes, that can be done. Uh, please take down. Uh, this uh, Swamoto writ petition has been registered pursuant to the directions issued by the Honorable Supreme Court in WPC number 699 of 2016, dated 9th November 2023. In paragraph Uh, uh, paragraph 20 of the judgment, uh, the following directions have been issued. Please quote paragraph 20. In terms of the officer direction, hmm, uh, the, the Suomoto case has been registered. And as per the directions, the case may be heard by the special bench presided by the uh, learned chief justice or a bench assigned by them. Uh, earlier, there was a Suomoto case registered by the High Court in WP number so and so. What WPA, is the number, sir? WPA seven eight zero seven of twenty twenty. Twenty twenty, and the and the matter is running in the daily list. In the monthly list. In the monthly list. Uh, monthly list. Uh, considering the fact that the. Uh, Disposal of the criminal cases uh, have to be monitored in terms of the uh, monitored strictly, taking note of the directions issued by the Honorable Supreme Court. Okay. We deem it appropriate that the matter should be listed before a demission bench dealing with criminal matters. Accordingly, these writ petitions. Uh, uh, accordingly, while clubbing both the repetitions, the same is uh, released uh, from the list of this court and the papers be placed before the Chief Justice for assignment to an appropriate division bench. Lord, the other matter may be treated as on day's list, which is WPA 7807 yes. of 2020. It's running in the monthly list, shall be treated as on the day's list. My Lord, much obliged. Yes. So by tomorrow, I will make the assignment. My Lord. Yes. Next. Item number two. I am for the petition, my Lord. My Lord, I have been for the state respondents. I am for the private respondents. Item number two and three. Service at them, my Lord. Thirty-three. Okay. My two and three, my Lord, are uh, analogous, my Lord. So, hmm. so far as three is concerned, my Lord, I beg to represent the state. And so far as two is concerned, no, no. their challenge is that the OC is not entitled to issue the notice no, no. under section 91 CRPC. My Lord. What is the case of the state? My Lord. Lord. That, is Lord. that is in item two, Lordship. We Lord, we have no, no, no. In item three, my Lord. In item three, my Lord, the learned judge was pleased to summarily Kindly allow me to make my submissions. It was summarily dismissed. Kindly allow me my, to make my submissions. Malala, in yes, both sir. the matters, notice under section 91 is challenge. And the learned trial judge insists of taking the consistent view, taking have taken inconsistent view. Different two orders in the same issue. Malala, in one order, he, my lord, the learned trial judge was pleased to dismiss the matter holding. You have, uh, you have to, uh, in Taking into account 157 of the CRPC, Mala, you are lost. Mala, section 91 says, Mala, the power of section 91 is vested upon the official in charge. And official in charge, Mala, has been defined in section 2 O. Mala, section 2 O, official in charge includes any other subordinate officer. But in, in, in case of some contingencies, there, Mala. In case of his absence, in case of his inlays, in case of his out, out of station, but they are, they are, these are not the ground. But SI straight away issued the notice. That are they going to do? No, you please come to paragraph 7 of the impugned order, passed by uh, Honorable Justice Manta. My Lord. Para 7. PRPC is there. Code of Criminal Procedures. Mm 
ಸಿಆರ್ಪಿಸಿ which empowers oc to depute a subordinate officer to conduct investigation to cognitive levels he also relies upon regulation 255 of the police regulation of bengal to support delegation of power to the lsi who issued the said notice under 91 there is some substance in the argument of the council if the investigation itself can be uh, delegated by the oc to a subordinate officer not less than the rank of si or police this court does not find any serious infirmity in the io issuing the said impure notice under 91 how do you get over this mala ye rossi avad vadi nazir ahmed case when the statute provides a particular mode of performance that is due problem that law is still good law i mean upon by the supreme court time and again mala when section 91 provides mala the officer in charge has to issue the notice mala that power cannot be exercised or delegated but to any other officer unless the officer in charge yield or out of station or some other case as provided there in section 20 that is correct sir but then matlab that cannot be delegated matlab ah. bhai you lot se kindly see more so my lord the learned trial judge in same issue were dealt with in two different ways that is that, that is learned trial sir sir, really sir, sir please, please don't keep repeating that you are on appeal against both the orders That's you are on appeal against both the orders now you frame your argument legally the uh, state refers to section 157 crpc but may i submit is... milot milot i will go to state malo bhai the petitioner malo, has kindly... approached us with a complaint that he has malo, paid a certain amount of money to the private respondents milot about which he has got nothing malo, to show except a notarized without my lord of uh, uh, agreement milot which has been vehemently denied by the respondent mala without so no therefore no no then no, why, are you, my then why are you no no please hear sir then why are you entertaining the complaint you re- refer it as uh, civil nature or mistake of fact why do you issue a notice to him under yeah. 91 crp to ascertain to ascertain whether any payments at all has been made or not with or that notice has that been issued that is not your business sir police station is not for settling civil matters my lord my lord since we have received the complaint of fraud uh, fraud and forgery my lord we no, conducted no, no, an inquiry no, no. you exercise your powers under the code of criminal procedure my lord if you find that the matter is of civil nature where is the question of asking him to come and prove my lord get to the dock examine witnesses my lord to come to such an conclusion my lord we need to ascertain that whether any payments have been made or not according to which my lord that, we that should is, be noticed my lord now my lord that is beyond me. your jurisdiction sir that is my beyond lord. your jurisdiction yes ma'am it is beyond your jurisdiction please don't there are day in and day out pils have been filed suspicious death in police station etc please do not transgress your limits the matter is purely of civil nature you close the proceedings advising him to go to my the lord. civil court if my lord. if he wants he will file a private complaint uh, let him take uh, law into uh, let the law will take its course please my do lord. not enter into all this controversy then my he lord. will produce one notarized document whether the notary public was there whether it was duly stamped is it the duty of the police my lord and my lord unfortunately uh, the kolkata police is coming to adverse notice at least twice in a week either before the single benches or before the division bench criminal division bench pil bench two single benches please do not transgress your limits please yes. do not do that my lord these uh, these appeals have been filed by the by the writ petitioner milord kindly milord kindly for once milord i represent the state no 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 don't be over zealous sir don't be over zealous milord kindly seize milord item 3 milord the order passed in item 3 lord sir yes yes we saw that milord he has prayed for quashing milord in a writ petition milord so milord learned judge was pleased to hold that it is not entertainable yes yes i have so it has to go under section 480 
my lord if my learned senior friend is intervening in this way lord ji i did not do you not an award my lord also kindly appreciate All so right, my lord my lord kindly you see please first lord. first we will dispose of item 2 sir MAT number so, one. Madhuri dismissed Milord in item two. Milord Lanet judge was pleased to go into the merit, but Milord in Milord item three. Milord kindly seize the order. Lanet single judge was not pleased to go into the merit. No, no, no. Let us take the order for item two, sir. Please wait, sir. MAT number one two three one of twenty twenty three. This appeal has been filed by the writ petitioner challenging the order dated twenty two six twenty twenty three in WPA two double five six eight of twenty twenty two. In the said writ petition, the uh, writ petitioner had uh, challenged the notice issued under Section 91 CRPC by the LSI of Police, Vardhaman Police Station, on 16/11, 2022, on the ground that that in terms of Section 91 CRPC, it is only the OC who can issue the notice and not any subordinate officer. The learned single bench uh, took note of the submissions made on behalf of the state that. that in terms of section 157 crpc the oc is entitled to depute a subordinate officer to conduct investigation into cognizable offences if necessary and also re also referred to regulation 255 of the police regulation of bengal comma 1943 therefore the court came to the conclusion that there is no error in the si of police issuing the notice under section 91 crpc after we have elaborately heard the learned advocates for the parties we find that the purpose the, that the reason for issuing notice under section 91 crpc by the police is to collect information from the writ petitioner with regard to a money transaction according to the respondent police the all the uh, the only document produced by the uh, petitioner slash complainant uh, petitioner was that Uh, that uh, was a notarized uh, document in our considered view the matter is wholly of civil nature and the complaint ought not to have been entertained and consequently the question of issuance of any notice under section 91 crpc does not arise therefore the appeal is disposed of by directing the respondent police to refer the case as mistake of fact slash civil nature leaving it open to the parties to uh, agitate their Rights before the appropriate form. Then the next item is okay. MAT number one two three two of twenty twenty three. Ah, in this writ petition, the petitioner had challenged ah uh, uh, the notice issued under section ninety one CRPC. For quashing. Ah, uh, challenge the for setting aside the notice issued under section ninety one CRPC okay. by the investigating officer okay. of Bardwan Police Station. in mat number 1231 of 2023 we have categorically held that the that the uh, issue before the respondent police in the nature of a complaint was purely of civil nature and the question of issuing a notice does not arise and accordingly we have directed the police to refer the uh, complaint as mistake of fact slash civil nature giving li liberty to the complainant to approach the appropriate forum in accordance with law consequently the uh, uh, now consequently no separate orders are required in mat number 1232 of 2023 in the light of the orders passed in mat number 1231 of 2023 accordingly this appeal stands disposed of next grateful my lord what grateful my lord item number 4 uh yes taro damage ho jayega the iipf for the state respondent yes sir yesterday Uh, somebody mentioned and wanted some brother-in-law to be impleted as a party. The no, representation the... was the, of the intervener was the spouse of the deceased wanted to intervene in the proceedings. We granted leave. Yesterday in the evening, I mean two p.m. or two fifteen p.m., somebody mentioned saying that uh, the brother-in-law has to be impleted. Why brother-in-law? My Lord, the actually, my Lord, I have been served with a copy of an application. We have not like... granted leave. We have not granted leave. Your Lordship did not grant leave. Hmm. The the wife is in Bihar. The deceased lived in Calcutta alone. The children and the wife, everybody lived in Bihar. They don't have a house here. She came. She performed the last rituals, and she's unwell. And hmm. yes, yesterday. 
your colleague Lord, told that she is Lord, first Julia. place your lordship my apology you could not place it properly no problem uh, no no the pro the issue is if your uh, lordship directs she will appear virtually if no, required no, no. we are not concerned we do not want any third parties to come inside if you just uh, so that is our concern somebody because uh, the the uh, the deceased uh, um, immediately after you were summoned by the police contact a political functionary rather than an advocate so therefore suppose somebody comes in and under the guise of being brother in law how will you know that whether that person is the brother in law how he is the brother in law or brother is very very dicey the, the minor son 17 year old son was accompanied uh, with the uh, brother in law the petitioner who has filed they were together i have their aadhar cards i have verified i have spoken okay. to the wife as well your lordship okay okay but uh, firstly your lordship will kindly pardon me Hmm. Your Lordship, inadvertently, I had missed that your Lordship had asked us to file an affidavit in opposition, hmm. stating our stance to the application filed by the petitioner. Hmm. But it is being affirmed. Okay, so today uh, first, we will grant. Second, secondly, my lord, my lord, yes. the prayer prayer of the person who wants to get him included in this, as a, although I am not acting in an advisory capacity. Hmm. the wife can file the application the brother can affirm the affidavit ah that's but what her prayers are for not being added as a party but for basically for compensation that perhaps will be oh, no. as... unless unless you become a party to the proceedings you cannot seek such a relief so as no, suggested our, by the learned prosecutor our prayer is uh, his prayer is uh, basically for compensation no no you return this application lot so the applicant will be the wife Lordship. lordship and in the in the affidavit you, you you say that the wife is in bihar she does not have a residence here she is at present hospitalized and therefore she has empowered her brother in law to affirm the affidavit and lordship. then let her first come in you lordship come into the proceedings then after she is implicated added as a party then you seek for certain reliefs probably we can transpose you as a writ petitioner also you lordship and you can join hands with priyanka to grewal and start arguing the matter endlessly or we will hear for months together what to do very sad man anyway so that procedure you please take back the affidavits Lord. given to the prelanet prosecutor and to the lanet petitioner and you file a fresh petition in the name of the wife let the can be uh, not pressed you lot with liberty ah, to file a fresh yes. what is can is not it numbered no yes yeah, can has been numbered you lot can one all right uh, reference may be made to the order dated 8 11 2023 by the said order uh, no uh, reference may be made to the order dated 17 11 2023 20, by which uh, the appropriate authority of the respondent police was directed to file an affidavit in op opposition stating uh, setting out their stand with regard to the allegations made in the writ petition the learned prosecutor appearing for the respondent state seeks some more time to file the affidavit as due to inadvertence the authority um, could not affirm the affidavit earlier on, on the on the, on the said date miss uh, miss uh, anamika pande or uh, intervened in the proceedings and submitted that she represents the wife of the deceased and uh, and uh, and that the wife of the deceased is desirous of intervening in the proceedings by impleading herself liberty was leave was granted to file such an application however can one of can one of 2023 has been filed by mr so and so who stated to be the brother in law of the deceased uh, we are of the view that that uh, the wife of the deceased would be the proper appropriate person who can be who can intervene in the proceedings uh, on account of the difficulty expressed by the um, expressed that stating that the wife of the deceased is permanently residing in bihar and she at present is uh, unwell and hospitalized Come on, we grant liberty to the wife of the deceased to file the application, and the affidavit can be affirmed by the brother-in-law. The requisite uh, uh, details with regard to <clears throat> the identity 
and the proof of uh, address of the uh, deponent uh, shall be uh, also uh, appended to the affidavit. Copy of such uh, copy of such petition be served on the learned petitioner appearing in person and the learned prosecutor appearing for the respondent state. Um, uh, list the matter on. When shall we list it? And address here. Okay. Next Thursday. Your lunch. By then, the after after we will we'll be ready. Your lunch. Your lunch in clay in place of hospitalized. It could be under medical treatment. All right. Instead of hospitalized, under me because yesterday your junior told you. Now she has been discharged. Now she is. Okay. If she wants, she can join the proceedings virtually. Lodge, I shall ask her to join. Grateful, Lord. Grateful, you, Lord. I don't know, five. Yes. Well, I appear for the appellant. Hmm. In this matter, my lord, to recapitulate, my lord, uh, our original demand was 1 crore 48 lakhs and odd, out of which we have already paid 1 crore 42 lakhs way back in February itself. And after that, my lord, there has been a forcible debit from our bank accounts, my lord, 3 crore 75 lakhs and odd. And thereafter, a uh, 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 blocking of 22 lakhs, almost end amounting to 4 crores. Now, my lord, our business it has a stake. My lord, Lordship, on the first occasion, taking up the matter, my lord, on 11th August 23, mm. Mm. our original order for filing them a report, not filed on 17th October, my lord, Lordship directed further to this effect, my lord, if your Lordship kindly take the trouble, my lord, we have already uh, oh, said... Oh, last, last occasion, last hearing, of course, first order was on 11th August. Second order was on 17th October, in which we said the department should report as to how, whether they have debited rupees 3.98 crores. My Lord, thereby we have already sent two notices to them in order to send on our own volition because they have not asked us to deposit anything. All right. Well, what is Mr. Banerjee's instruction? Lord Chief, they are saying that they have deposited 1 crore 42 lakh. But from my record, I found they have filed 1 crore 48 lakh. Mm. They have deposited more, which they are also not aware. Mm. I have so far recovered 3 crore 75 lakh, which mm. this 4 crore, which is not true. Lordship, I have adjusted 1 crore 48 lakh 64,000 towards the service tax demand, 1 crore 48 lakh 74,195 towards the penalty imposed, 78 lakh towards the interest incurred. And still recoverable amount is 90 lakh, 89 lakh, 69,900 something. Lordship, mm -hmm. this what I'm saying is apparently mathematical calculation. But the fraud is little deeper. What he did is since 2008, he filed nil return and he kept on paying taxes. Now, as we could not hold him for the period 2008 to 2014, for the period he conducted the same business, he have got his income tax return as well. Now the period for which I am holding him, then he is coming out and saying, it was a wrong advice of my charter accountant, I actually deposit. Otherwise, every time he has neither paid anything, so I have divided his entire nil return in two parts. A nil return part from 2008 to 2014 and now I am helpless. Because that I cannot extend my limitation to catch him on that score. I cannot uh, ask. Sir, no, we will not travel that far. The first order by which the uh, appeal that was have, disposed That on. I have complied, Lordship. Today I have complied. I am with the report. In an uh, evidence form I will give. May I hand over the department's instruction to me to that effect? Well, that what I is the ready. instruction? What is the instruction? Lordship, instruction is even today I have a amount of 89,69,994 to be recoverable towards the interest. Now, the first order which was passed on 28th of April, Not sure. there is a direction to lift the attachment upon payment of 6,7,000 and odd and 25 lakhs. Like. So the petitioner has come forward with this application saying that he can't pay this 25 lakhs because already 3.98 crores have also been recovered and he has, of course, paid the 6,7,850. Lordship. So, uh, why should you impose uh, 
you initiate uh, further proceedings uh, should this uh, can this order not be modified already 3.98 crores no. has been 3.75 he already has 75, whatever it is and i have given adjustment i have given adjustment towards Correct, the principal sir. due sir. penalty and uh, interest the... is still payable by him under the new order in origin that, that is different. That you proceed to recover. We directed the bank attachment to be lifted. That I have you... lifted. I have lifted in spite of the fact that I could not recover my entire amount. But to avoid contempt and to honor this court, I have lifted that. Very good. Then I what lift... What more is there, Mr. Ganguly? Not if 89 lakh is still recoverable. That we you say... recover. Malad, Malad, may I, may, may I just... Millard, already I have handed over a short uh, list uh, list of dates on the first occasion. Millard, it must be in the file. Mm. Millard, there I have shown that my original demand was 1 crore 48 lakhs and odd. Mm. Out of which I paid, that is without penalty and interest, admittedly without payment and interest. Thereafter I paid 6 lakhs further. Now Millard, if that portion is even paid, Malad, the interest and the penalty, what they have adjusted, Malad, I am asking the question to myself, after that, how come 3 crore 75 lakhs, what they have already debited? No, how no. come that one? No, no. Now that the bank attachment has been lifted, we will say that uh, the as of now, the department may not insist upon remitting a further sum of 3 lakh 98. We will hear your appeal. Malad, that 3, lakhs, uh, 3 crore 75 lakhs uh, three, well, seven. bank att attachment was originally there and after opening the bank account this has eroded this money is not there in the bank account so that they have already recovered 3.74 well, no no notice with respect to that even no no that... sir mr gangli we have not yet disposed of the appeal we have passed an interim direction for lifting the bank account a uh, bank attachment that has been done so we have to list the appeal Malad, you had uh, come by way of this uh, application or whatever it is. Malad, still there is another bank account which is, uh, to my instruction, it is still blocked. That is of 22 lakhs. But he 000. says there is another so We have unblocked lakhs. it and we have not realized that bank account which he is talking about is West Bengal State Corporate Malad, Without bank, the report, we cannot the ascertain what they are saying. All right. Huh? Apparently, All right. as to my client's instruction, it is still blocked. Right? This All last right. Month. You do one thing, sir. Mr. Banerjee, what you do is you file your report in the form of an okay. affidavit. You serve copy on Mr. Ganguly. We'll have the matter after two weeks. My Lord. Uh, the the re respondent department has filed a report in the form of an affidavit, copy of which shall be served on the learned advocate for the appellant. List the appeal on so-and-so date. I'm Next. sorry, my Lord. I need time to file it. My instruction is ready. So kindly oh. allow me seven, seven All right. and, uh, in this then, time to file. The uh, respondent department shall file a report in the form of an affidavit within a week from date. Got you. And at once, uh, uh, yes. May I seek one indulgence, my lord? We, uh, just uh, that calculation part can we have, my lord? Only that calculation. That we part. will give huh? uh, within a week from date. Copy of which shall be served huh? um, on the learned advocate for the appellant. List the matter after two weeks. You give a date. Next. I'm grateful. Item number six. Oblige, man. Six year law should appear for the appellant. Reply has been filed. Last, law ship, the reply has been filed. Your law ship, this is the reply. I've served. I've already yes. served. We can be a file. Yes. What is this? Law ship. Lordship, I'm only aggrieved here, Lordship. Mm. Lordship may kindly takes the stay application. Mm -hmm. Page 201, that is annexure P4. Two hundred and one. Two hundred and one, your Lordship. Mm. Lordship, may I place it? Lordship, this is issued by the chief engineer of Kolkata Metropolitan Development Authority mm. of 6th September 2021. Mm. May I read it? To yes. whom it may concern, this is to certify that 
एम एस ग्रीन टेक एनवायर मैनेजमेंट प्राइवेट लिमिटेड हैविंग रजिस्टर्ड ऑफिस एट सच एंड सच हैव सक्सेसफुली सेटअप एंड हैव बीन ऑपरेटिंग फाइव म्यूनिसिपल सॉलिड वेस्ट ट्रीटमेंट फेसिलिटीज फॉर बायो रेमिडिएशन एंड बायो माइनिंग ऑफ लेगेसि वेस्ट ऑफ डम साइड यूटिलाइजिंग साइंटिफिक मेथड ऑन ट्रंकी बेसिस ईच with a capacity of 600 metric ton per day at following location across west bengal elorship may kindly see only five locations are mentioned and the yeah. capacity is mentioned of 3000 tpd thereafter hmm. Hmm. they have successfully completed bio remediation of legacy waste quantity of 6.10 lakh metric tons up to 31st july 2021 at the following sites across west bengal now yes. they mention the seven sites and at the bottom we are satisfied for their performance so far yes lordship now lordship what has happened your lordship pursuant to a tender which was floated the petition, the appellant had participated several mm. work orders were issued and they were performing their work of your lordship may kindly takes the tender which is at page 99 yes lordship lordship it is an invitation your lordship may i am reading the superintendent engineer not circle such and such your lordship at the bottom if your lordship may kindly takes yes the last 5 years from the date of issuance of the request for proposal for 25 packages for the work of lordship this is most important what is the nature of work bio mining of legacy waste and land reclamation of dump sites utilizing scientific method located at different municipalities across west bengal on trunky basis lordship may kindly takes note of the word bio mining mm. lordship and lordship at the page which i have placed at the first page 201 it mm. speaks of successfully completed bio remediation mm. and bio mining lordship there these are the two terms lordship mm. now i'll place the rules which is the solid waste management rules which are, which are annexed at page 60 annexure p1 mm. Yes, Lordship. It provides for guidelines for disposal of legacy waste, old municipal solid waste. Lordship, mm. the relevant portion is at page sixty-nine. Yes, page sixty-nine provides for the methodology. Thereafter, four one provides bio remediation and bio mining mm. of old municipal dump site. It refers to the excavation of old dump waste and make windrow of legacy waste thereafter stabilizing of the waste through bio remediation so mm. the difference of the process first they are referring to bio remediation bio remediation has to be understood as part process and mm. the bio mining is the completion of the entire process mm. bio remediation that is exposure of all the waste to air along with use of composting biocultures that is screening of the stabilized waste to recover all all valuable resources like such and such followed by its sustainable management through recycling co-processing road making etc mm. lost thereafter the process is being defined mining of legacy waste thereafter stabilization screening and it has been made in a table format lost ship the next the next paragraph the first step is to excavate legacy waste loosen it and make windrow so as to let it can be dried off through solar solar exposure and all the entrapped methane is removed from the heap all biodegradable waste like discarded fruit such and such need air to decompose in an odorless way without producing lethage so the first step is stabilizing and bringing down airless legacy waste is to expose as much of it as possible to air lordship thereafter it is important addition of composting bioculture speeds up decomposition and rapidly creates biological heat within the waste 
that helps to dry it out and re reduce it to volume to 30 to 40 percent. This happens through loss of moisture and by decomposition of some of the excreted waste to carbon dioxide and water vapor. This is called bioremediation and makes the waste dry enough for screening. Waste is called stabilized when there is no more generation of heat or landfill gas or lichate and seeds are able to germinate in it. Lordship, I'll pause here for a moment. Lordship, the rule speaks that the tender which is floated for entire bio mining of the waste which is dumped at a particular site. Now the petitioners have been issued work orders and they have started the work and there was a part completion. And what was the part completion termed as bioremediation? Lashim, I have been able to place the relevant portion of the rules at page 17, which clearly defines the process of bioremediation. Now, no, what... actually, madam, sorry for interruption. Lashim, Lashim. What, what was impugned in the writ petition was cancellation or withdrawal of the certificate. Lashim. That was your contention, stating that Lashim. based Lashim. on the certificate, now you have utilized the certificate in Katak municipality, etc., etc. And day. at this juncture, they are stopped from uh, uh, cancelling the certificate. Apart Lashim. from that, you, you have altered your position, etc. All those arguments were... Now, uh, this certificate, uh, which is at uh, page number 201, One. probably at the request of the uh, appellant or red petitioner could have been issued or Suomoto issued. For, how does it affect your rights? Lordship, I'll, I'll, I'll come to that, your Lordship. It that was the only argument. That was the only the argument, your Lordship. Before the learned single bench. So, Lordship. you please cut short your argument, be specific on the issue. Uh, what is the, uh, first of all, you will have to claim a right, you have to trace a, your uh, right to get a certificate under the uh, tender conditions or on any other notification or communication sent by the authority. Grateful to Lordship. I'll, I'll play. I'll, I'll, if, I'll... if it is a completion certificate, it's a different matter. Because it says we are satisfied with the performance so far. So therefore, the, it is work in progress. Lordship, I, 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 my case is only that. The certificate issued with regard to completion so far. Hmm. I was only placing the word or definition of bioremediation only to place the difference between mining, that is completion, and remediation, that is part completion. But the show cause notice at page 202. Lordship. Huh? Lordship. Now coming. Uh, you straight away come to that. Lordship. 202 is the show cause notice. Lordship. Ah, yes. Lordship 202. Third paragraph. Whereas it is found from the records that neither you had completed 6.1 lakh FT of bioremediation, nor you have set up operating 5 months MSW treatment facility for bioremediation. Each so and so capacity by that time, fully aware of the fact this cannot be treated as a credential certificate. Lordship. You learned you are submitting the certificate in question of credentials of various organizations due to participation. Submission of such document for tendering purposes is enough to create doubt in the mind of the officials. Where some. Now, therefore, the undersigned directed to show us as to why you have said use the certificate instead of immediately bringing to the notice of the competent authority came to appropriate course. Undersigned is further direct show why the solid certificate submitted by you will not be cancelled. So, your Lush. reply is at page 204. 204, where, your, where is the order cancelling the certificate? Lush. That is after 207, your Lordship. It is at page. It is at page 212. 212. Lashim kindly takes the reasoning given for withdrawal. In, in, in inviting reference to the above, directed to inform your reply to so on so on, so on, not satisfactory in response to show cost notice issue. Direct to inform the as per the direction of the competent authority, certificate issued by Nissan is hereby ruled. Lashim. Now, what has happened, your Lordship, this certificate which was issued on 6th of September 2021, a show cause was given, citing the reason that I have placed this certificate before other authorities as a credential certificate. Lordship, now I am putting only one question to myself, 
is there any bar in producing the certificate before other tendering authorities? That's the first year, Lordship, the query which has been raised. Now, Lordship, in the supplementary affidavit, I have given annexed documents which shows that KMDA has made a misrepresentation before Katak Municipal Corporation stating that this certificate was obtained by, by, uh, by fraud. Lordship, my only contention was that this certificate it was issued knowingly of part completion. We bench has said that the impugned order cancelling the certificate in dispute, though it was he has not interfered, the certificate shall be treated to be valid for whatever it's worth in respect of tenders where the petitioners already participated by production of the certificate. There's no problem. No Prospectively, uh, so for in respect of works for which you have already produced, you are not going to be affected. In respect of future work, are they not entitled to take a stand that this is not a completion certificate? No, Chief, that they have that they have communicated. But the the but, but the problem which arose, they have communicated that this certificate was obtained by me as by practicing fraud. And lordship that has weighed in the mind of the Katak Municipal Corporation and have, they have debarred me from participating in the tenders, citing the reason that I have submitted this document, which is a false and forged document. No, no, you should produce before the Katak Municipality the order passed in the writ petition saying that uh, the order that will uh, not have uh, that uh, cancellation will not affect any of the tenders where you have already participated. Lordship, that is the misrepresentation made by KMDA. Lordship, may kindly take the No, no, that uh, last right? occasion itself, you told you, madam, that is up to you to challenge before the Orissa If Lordship, you are agreeing on the last by that date, Lordship, so, on the last date, Lordship has indicated, Lordship, I had prayed for adding Katag Municipal Corporation as a party respondent. Lordship, not kindly required. take the last, not last required. order. Not Lordship, required. Lordship, that it was not directed. Lordship, may kindly take... From their affidavit in opposition, the communication made by Katak Municipal Corporation. Therefore, the, see that communication has been made. It has been clarified by the learned single bench that the certificate will continue to remain valid in respect of tenders you have already participated. The, that protection is good enough for you. Lordship, secondly, Lordship. secondly I, I... Sec we can affirm that or we can even strengthen that because they are not on appeal against this finding. Secondly, in so far as Future tenders are the effect of the certificate. As a tender inviting authority, there is no condition in the tender condition that such type of certificate will be issued. Some of you managed to get such certificate. Well and good. For tenders already participated, be happy with it. But in future tenders, you complete the work, get a completion certificate. Lordship, I bow down to that. Lordship, what has happened till the date I had participated? Now the question arose, this certificate which I had used till the date, till yes. the date of cancellation. Now, this dispute arose before the Katan Municipal Corporation till such date it, before it was revoked. So, Lord we will Lord, protect you. We will Lordship, say that the certificate will be valid in uh, uh, for all purposes in respect of all tenders within West Bengal, outside West Bengal, until it was cancelled. Lordship, may I only no, stigma, one, no stigma. No stigma. Shall, Lordship. Yeah, Lordship, that much we'll Lordship, protect. Lordship, no stigma. They have been communicating, citing that this was obtained by practicing fraud. And as such, I have been debarred. Oh. Lordship, only one statement. And mm. I have been debarred from the tender in which I was participated. The reasoning given I have placed in the supplementary affidavit. Lordship may kindly takes. I am debarred from participating in the tender because I have produced a false certificate. Which Lordship, tender? Lordship, this is before the Katak Municipal Authority. No, no, no. Why are you going to Katak, Katak? All Lordship, that we can do Katak... you... No, no. In this appeal, this is what we can do. We will protect you to, and uh, saying that there will not be any stigma to, uh, uh, and the certificate can be to be considered to be valid for all purposes till it was cancelled on so-and-so date. If Lordship. the petitioner has participated using the certificate, those authorities oh. shall not draw any adverse inference against the petitioner. Huh? Uh, Lordship, Lordship. If, if such action has been taken prior to the date of cancellation, page 212. Lordship. That much we can do. That's Lordship, all. Lordship.
this intra court law appeal law shim may only kindly takes their affidavit in opposition page 23 law shim i'll only i'll be placing three documents the affidavit in opposition filed by the respondent kmda page 23 Lawship, the query raised. Hmm. Lawship, may I may I place it? Lawship, the only query raised by the deputy commissioner of Katag Municipal Corporation was that an ex authentic authentication of experience certificate issued by your organization. No other query was raised. Unfortunately, KMDA had communicated that this was obtained by practicing fraud. Lawship, that is where I am prejudiced, dear Lawship. Now, Lawship, what has happened, dear Lawship? Me kindly mm. takes the supplementary affidavit. Yes. Supplementary affidavit, page seventeen. Hmm. The supplementary affidavit filed by the appellant, page seventeen, mm. annexure P three. It's a document dated twenty third of June, twenty twenty three. Mm. May I place it? This is to bring. Ah, uh, this is addressed to the appellant. This is to bring your attention regarding the recently conducted tender process for bio mining of legacy waste under in Katak, Orissa. It has come to our notice that the documents furnished by you for the above tender is supported of co-processing of RDF is are forged. I am only affected by this. I cannot be saddled. We cannot set aside that order. All that we can do is strengthen the observations made by the learned red court. It is lost. 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 Yeah, Mr. Bandhavadi, what do you like to say? Malad, Malad, what is falling from your lost? Malad, it fell. Malad, when the uh, appeal was in the motion stage as well. But Malad, mm. I only want to point out one thing. If your lost kindly takes page two zero two, which is mm. the crux mm. from which the entire thing starts. Two zero two is the show cause notice. Mm. Now, Malad, uh, the second last paragraph at two zero two. Hmm. This is what weighed with the authority, my lord. That and whereas it is learned that you are submitting the certificate in question as credential certificate to various organizations during participation in tender. Hmm. Submission of such document for tendering purpose is enough to create doubt in the mind of the officials of the organization that where you are submitting the certificate in question, it also affects the image of KMDA in the public domain. So and so. So. The main crux of the matter is that it is enough to create a doubt in the mind of the officials of the organization where the certificate is being produced. Now, my lord, the question is that whether this weighing, this reason, is so absurd that it cannot weigh in the mind of any uh, uh, normal person. But I find support from one of the observations of the honourable single judge. If your logic kindly now takes two twenty one, which mm. is part of the order of the, uh, the part of the impugned order. Mm. Paragraph thirty-eight. Hmm. There is some justification in the argument of KMDA that there is scope of misreading the certificate in question as a completion certificate, although it does not expressly claim to be so. Such mis misunderstanding can arise, particularly on the following counts. Therefore, Malad, this what what weighed with the in the mind of the authority is no not so absurd that no person can think of it. Now, Malad, the entire problem is that Malad, I am uh, grateful to my learned friend for placing the rules that bio remediation is a part of the process of bio mining. So, what certificate was issued for whatever reason? And now, for... who? No, no. If you say that the certificate is forged and created by fraud, what action have you taken against the person who issued the certificate at two zero one? If you have not taken action, we will direct. That person to be prosecuted and arrested today. It's great if you are 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 protecting this chief engineer. If according to you this certificate is a uh, uh, is a fraudulent document, then this chief engineer has to be arrested today. But what document your is your being produced? What document is no, being? No, therefore, produced? therefore, Mr. Bandhavadya, therefore, rightly you did not file an appeal. We will strengthen the observations in paragraph forty-eight, and we will say that no stigma be attached to the petitioner based on this uh, 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 till uh, and the certificate will be valid for whatever it is worth till it was cancelled on twenty-seven seven twenty twenty-three.
right malat malat along and with if that you, no no if you allege fraud you please take action against your ops so, lawsuit me kindly direct malat the question of fraud direct malat that is malat what i am trying to point out is that this entire fiasco with regard to the katak municipality malat this entire thing which the petitioner first is trying to set to your house in order sir first set your house in order there are two things mr bandhubadia fraud means this entire document can be held to be a fabricated document page 201 if your case is the entire document is fabricated this person uh, stole the letter pad created the certificate forged the signature of the chief engineer put the stamp of the chief engineer then by now you should have lodged a criminal complaint against the petitioner and put him behind bars sure, secondly sure, sure. secondly if you allege that this chief engineer was not competent to issue such a certificate by now he should have suspended disciplinary proceedings should have been initiated thirdly if your case is this chief engineer colluded with the writ petitioner and created this fraudulent document then the chief engineer has to be prosecuted put put behind bars but malad malad the entire issue with regard to katak municipality that they are agitating that tender no, was no. cancelled in no no we are not cancelled we are malad, not june cancelled. 23 till date they have not challenged anything with regard to katak municipality we are not concerned about katak we are concerned we are concerned about kmda you have set your house in order we will make very stringent observations here if you say that this certificate the observations in the show cause notice observations in the show cause notice is sufficient Huh? Uh, pa paragraph. Uh, page two hundred four, your loss. That is uh, page two hundred two. No, no. Show us notice, boss. Two hundred two. But one thing, sir, in the show cause notice, you did not allege fraud. What you alleged was you are three. Presentation of the certificate. Ah, but. Therefore, the impugned order has travelled beyond the show cause notice. Grateful to us. Impugned order is the first time you say that uh, page number two hundred twelve. Where is the allegation of fraud? Well, look, that is the document that they are uh, taking up before the. Uh, no, no, in the show cause notice, sir. sir. Please go by the show cause notice, sir. See, uh, para three is this uh, page two zero two, whereas it is learned that you are submitting the certificate in question as credential to various organization right. or participate. Submission of such a document for tendering process is enough to create doubt in the mind of the official. Certificate. It also affects the image of uh, uh, MDA in the public domain. The previous paragraph, last line. This cannot be treated as a credential certificate. Right. So your contention was, your contention is there's no fraud. Your contention is this person is misinterpreting the certificate. Right. First, remove your chief engineer. Remove your chief engineer. Suspend him. Malad, Malad, this Not kindly see. Well, in our opposition, we have annexed the letter we have received from the Katak Municipal Corporation. Malad, that is at page twenty-three. If you repeatedly refer to Katak Municipal Corporation here and now, we will direct arrest of the chief engineer. Malad, the protection of the petitioner has already been given by the honourable single judge. All right, this please take down. This we have heard of both of you. This intra-court appeal by the red petitioner is directed against the judgment dated eight eight twenty twenty-three in WPA. One eighty two zero four of twenty twenty three. In the said writ petition, the appellant had challenged and if the uh, the communication or uh, issued by the chief engineer of the respondent authority dated twenty seven seven twenty twenty three. By the said communication, the the appellant was informed that the certificate issued to the appellant dated six nine twenty twenty one is revoked. Prior to such communication dated twenty seven seven twenty twenty three, a show cause notice was issued to the appellant, writ petitioner, dated uh, page two zero two, dated twenty three six twenty twenty three. On a careful reading of the show cause notice, it is seen that there is no allegation of fraud uh, against the writ petitioner. 
nor there is any allegation that that the chief engineer who issued the certificate had had issued a fraudulent or uh, a certificate a fraudulent certificate uh, with distorted facts the allegation was that the the appellant red petitioner was treating the certificate as a credential certificate if uh, the certificate is dated 6/9 2021 which state which certifies that the appellant have successfully set up and have been operating five municipal solid waste treatment facility for bio remediation and bio mining of legacy waste of dump sites utilizing scientific method on turnkey basis each with a capacity of 600 metric ton per day at the at five locations across west bengal the certificate further states that the appellant red petitioner have successfully completed bio remediation of legacy waste quantity of 6.10 lakh metric tons up to 317 2021 in seven sites across west bengal the certificate further specifically states that that the uh, that uh, the respondent authority are satisfied with the performance of the appellant red petitioner so far thus I, uh, thus reading the certificate along with the uh, allegations in the show cause notice clearly shows that at no point of time the kmda had alleged any fraud against the uh, appellant red petitioner nor against any of his officers the only grieve, only uh, issue was as to how the certificate has to be interpreted or to be uh, interpreted according to kmda the certificate is not a credential certificate it is not clear as to how, under what circumstances the chief engineer had issued the certificate dated 69 2021 be that as it may the certificate only states whatever is the work done by the appellant red petitioner up to the date of issuance of certificate and nothing more as rightly contended by the learned uh, by the respondent authority uh, learned counsel for the respondent authority the certificate is not a completion certificate nor a credential certificate therefore the appellant red petitioner cannot uh, interpret or use the certificate as a credential certificate or a uh, or a completion certificate uh, if this issue is clarified then uh, nothing more remains to be uh, adjudicated in this appeal uh, the authority uh, the the certificate dated 69 2023 2023 not being a com- 2021 not being a completion certificate come on nothing flows out of the certificate even if it is cancelled or revoked in fact the learned single bench had taken note of this fact uh, and in paragraph 47 and 48 of the impugned judgment has has rightly protected the interest of the appellant red petitioner by stating that the already accrued rights in favor of the appellant red petitioner in respect of the tenders which the red petitioner has already produced the certificate cannot be retrospectively curtailed further it was made clear that the certificate shall be treated to be valid for whatever it is worth in respect of tenders where the appellant red petitioner have already participated by production of the said certificate the learned advocate for the appellant would uh, 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 would uh, contend that that based on the communication sent by KMDA, the Katak municipality has taken adverse uh, uh, has taken uh, action against the appellant, and the appellant is uh, is also being barred from participating in the tender. Uh, so far as the action initiated by the Katak municipality is concerned, it is up to the petitioner to work out their remedies in accordance with law before the appropriate forum. Uh, all that can be observed is that there is no allegation of fraud either against the appellant or against the chief engineer who had issued the certificate and and uh, and we we further clarify that the certificate which has since been cancelled is is not a completion certificate uh, uh completion certificate and the appellant cannot interpret the certificate 
as a completion certificate. The uh, uh, observations made by the learned single bench uh, in paragraph 47 and 48 of the impugned judgment stand affirmed and the appeal stands disposed of accordingly. Thank you. Great, grateful to you, Rashi. Grateful. Next. Item number seven. Seven file is not there. Seven file is not there, sir. File is not there. One it may appear next week, one it? Ah, yes. This is eight. Please call eight. eight. Item number eight. Uh, this is my appeal, man. Yes, sir. Very urgent matter. Lord, okay. in item number eight, I am being led by Mr. Kollul Basu Milord. He is on his legs in court number four. May I, Milord, pray for a short Milord pass over? Today pass over is not possible, sir. I will say not today. Then, Milord, kindly makes it not. Uh, then, Milord, kindly grant us leave in the meantime. Well, some of the pages in the stay application are not legible. We may file a compilation of those uh, relevant pages. Uh, and. Uh... The, uh, it's ready, man. It is already ready. Man, maybe okay. file it with your law chief's officers. Uh, we will just say not today. Very well. You can file it uh, on next date. Very well. Next. Item number nine. Wait, please, you lot. Lord Chief, item 9, I appear for the respondents. Mr. Rudraman Bhattacharya and, Mr. and Senior Counsel Mr. Ranjan Bachavat are appearing in this matter for the respondents. They are both mm -hmm. traveling, they are both uh, out of Calcutta, Lord Chief. So the matter may be taken up anytime next week, Lord Chief. Your consent of the appellate? Yes. yes. Right. Well, Lord Chief will take it up on, on fourth, will not subject to my Lord's pleasure. Fourth. Definitely, sir. Definitely, sir. Yes. Oh, next. I'm grateful, dear Lord Item number 10. I appear for the appellant, your lordship. I also, the, when the matter was taken on the last occasion, none was present on behalf of the respondent, my lord. Uh, I served again, I intimated through email, your lordship. But uh, bank is not represented. No, I, I appear for the bank, your lordship. It's bank's appeal. The uh, register was not represented on the last date. Ah, uh, yes. And uh, what is the reply? They have received the mail. Yes, your lordship. They have received the mail, email. Okay. And what is the effect of the order? Lordship, by impugned order, uh, the writ petitioner was a partner of a partnership firm which availed financial assistance okay. from the no, bank. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. We have heard the learned advocate appearing for the appellate. The matter was listed on 16 11 2023. And on that date, though the appellant was. Uh, uh, respondents were uh, respondent petitioner was served and after out of service was filed. None appeared for the respondent petitioner. Therefore, we directed uh, uh, the matter to appear today uh, on 22-11-2023. And there was an oral direction given to the learned advocate for the appellant to serve notice uh, on the learned advocate who appeared for the uh, for the respondent petitioner before the learned single bench. The learned advocate for the appellant has uh, submitted that uh, notice has been sent through email, which has been received by them, but no, yet none appears today. The direction issued by the learned single bench is to defreeze the account held by the writ petitioner in his own name with Deshapriya Park branch of the Appellant Bank, as well as release the hold on the fixed deposits of the writ petitioner held in the personal name of the writ petitioner, also with the respondent bank, and so, and one week, and the defreezing was directed to be done within a period of one week. Huh? Uh, the the first, first contention of the learned advocate for the appellant is that uh, adequate opportunity was not granted to the appellant bank to produce all the documents to establish that the appellant bank enjoys a banker's lien, uh, banker's lien, and are entitled to uh, uh, keep, the, keep the accounts freeze. The learned advocate for the appellant further submitted that in respect of uh, uh, other accounts which were freezed, the bank has already defreezed. Yes, a lot except one fixed deposit, which is valued at to be 10 lakhs because the present except, outstanding is 10 lakhs. Except for one fixed deposit, Valued at rupees 10 lakhs, rupees 10 lakhs, and the outstanding payable 
to the bank is ar around rupees 10 lakhs. Yes, presently around 10 lakhs. Presently yeah. around rupees 10 lakhs. Uh, in the light of the above, Kama, uh, we are of the view that if uh, the appeal has to be heard, uh, uh, for which the, the uh, respondent has to appear before this court, and since uh, they have not appeared today, the uh, hearing of the appeal is deferred until the, till the next hearing date. The impugned direction shall remain stay. Next. The privilege. Item number 11. Eleven. None of yes, sir. All right. Not today. Twelve. Item twelve. I am for the respondent number 6, Union Bank of England. Item number 12 and 13, my lord, no. are arising out of, my lord, the same order. That lookout circular. Well, my lord, the lookout circular. Uh, we'll take uh, it next week, sir. My lord, had uh, asked me, my lord, to find out whether, my lord, uh, any uh, SLP yes, yes. To the best of my knowledge, my lord, I have made necessary searches, my lord. No SLP has been preferred against that judgment no, of your court. You ask, Mr. Savishashi. <laughs> Very well. What is the answer to the question? Not to my knowledge. I appear for the writ petition, my lord. Not to our knowledge that any SLP was preferred. No, no, you check up once again, you verify. Will my lord verify once again before we my lord next week? Next week, same position. Next. I don't know 14. Lord, she wanted to know from Hemant Kumar Banka matter. Ah, yes, Mr. Yes. Mr. Chaudhary is Sir, here, my lord. Here, my lord. The man himself himself is here. Himself. 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 Whatever I know, my lord, they haven't preferred a uh, special leave petition, but my lord, I'll check it up also, my lord. I, I don't want to make the submission without uh, being doubly. You please worry. Next week it will come. We will. Then item 15. 14. Item 14. 14. 14 lord, uh, I am for the respondent. Lord, this is a group 6 matter which is not of a high court employee. My lord, I appear on behalf of the appellant. Oh, it is State Legal Services Authority. Yes. It is not a Group 6 matter. Filed in Group 6, but not in a Group 6 of High Court employees. Your lordships are taking a lot. High Court employees and judicial uh -huh. officers, your lordship uh -huh. is taking. All right. Since, since this court lacks determination to hear the matter, this, uh, matters, this is 14 and 15. 14 and 15. No, 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. 16. 14, 15, 16. 16. The three matters are released uh, to, and the papers be placed before the Chief Justice for being uh, listed before the appropriate Honorable Division Bench. 14, 15, 16. Sorry. Item number 17. M80 1951. Exactly. Thank you. Huh? Item 17, not today. Item number 18. 18, not today. 18, my lord. Uh, can it be passed over for a moment, my lord? Today, pass over difficult, sir. Not lord. today. Next, 19. 19. 20. Protein, item number 20, my lord. I am appearing on behalf of the college authority, my lord. Oh. lord a copy of the my lord, memorandum of appeal as well as the stay application was not served upon the college authority till date, my lord. All right. Uh, we will direct them to do so. The uh, item 20, the learned advocate for the appellant is directed to serve one set of papers on the learned advocate appearing for the respondents. Wow. Uh, within three days, by Monday, mm -hmm. list the matter in the same position next week. Great. 21. 21. I don't know, 21. I don't know, 22. 22, Miladars. The matter I mentioned yesterday, Milad, I'm led by Mr. Choudhury. This is regarding, Milad, uh, order of blacklisting, Milad. Lordships were pleased not to pass, uh, Milad, an interim order of stay, Milad. It was vacated. So, Milad, it mm. is there, Milad, on merits. Lordship will hear it whenever if Lordship wants now. I can start. This is item number 22. 22. This is 21. So, we can... But uh, in the December, we can't hear it, sir. Thank you, sir. But then, my lord, lordship will consider the uh, prayer of stay because, my lord, what, right, what we can do is uh, it has to come on a Thursday, no? We will fix it on 14th December. Same position. 
authorities. The heart primarily yeah. deals with vegetables. Leonard Council to submit allegations made in the red petition are are one or two. I tell you, Doctor Miller, my lord need not read the order. Hmm. But here I am for a limited protection from the police authorities. I tell hmm. you, Doctor Miller, I was granted a lease to run a market. Hmm. Lord, there was a dispute between the landlord and the tenant. I filed a suit hmm. during the pendency of the suit. Lord, the uh, lease was determined. Now immediately after that, the officer in charge of the concerned police station started coming and forcing me to leave the place. Lord, I am not asking your lordship to lord adjudicate anything on civil right. Kindly mm. only protect that the police will not force me to leave the place. Well, that uh, they cannot do. Well, so, the the learned judge has said, shall the police, sharp, well, the police which cannot well, take well, the law in their own hand and evict me without well, no such case law. is made out in the writ petition. Well, well, I am the, the private complete. respondent. They are my tenant. Well, they were replaced somewhere else. Now they found that they are not good in business in that place. They want to come the uh, come to the previous place, and oh, that is why by says, any way other no, no. any your civil rights we will not well, get. The civil into suit it. is pending. And ah. they are trying to in, trying to minder interference of the police so that they can come to Malad previous no, no. place. No, 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 no. I am not saying that. That part no, will no. be protected and any war modern. modern but the police no, will not no, evict. No, no, wait, wait, wait. The police, sir, they, they are already disqualified. Wait, sir, they have sir, please, summer. please wait. The council appearing for the police, you no, don't I, I, interfere I, I, in a I, civil I, dispute. But I am appearing for the uh, state government. Ah. For the police, if, if there is a civil dispute, don't interfere. If there is a law and order problem, you interfere. Yes, yes. yes that's right. The intra court appeal by the red petitioner is uh, uh, against the order dated. Not kindly have a look at my prayer, my Lord, made in the application. Order dated 18 10 2023 in WPA 23513 of 2023. Page 9 of the application. In the said order, the red petition was disposed of. On going through the order, we find the learned single bench was perfectly justified. In um, in holding that the matter the dispute is between the petitioner and the private respondents is purely a civil dispute and the civil suit is also pending before the competent civil court. My lord. Uh, the the however the grievance of the appellant is that the police authorities are uh, no. trying to uh, throw the appellant out of the premises in question. Yes. It is not clear as to whether there are any interim orders in the civil court. However, the police authorities are entitled to take action if uh, if uh, a criminal offence is committed or is likely to be committed. In fact, the learned single bench has also directed the police authorities to keep a sharp vigil at the local, local to ensure no breach of peace takes place and see that no order of the civil court is violated. Therefore, the police should understand the scope and uh, of the order uh, passed in the red petition. And if there is a civil dispute, the police should not interfere with the same. However, if there is any uh, dispute, any uh, criminal act committed either by the petitioner, the appellant, or by any of the third parties, it is, goes without saying that the police can take appropriate action in accordance with the law. Okay. With the above observation, the appeal stands disposed of. Next. Lord, I'm grateful. Only one indulgence, my Lord. Your Lord Shiva said that they will not interfere with the possessory right. Well, you only mention that. With the position of the police. You, sir. We are grateful to you, sir. We are grateful to you, sir. order in the civil court and Malad now. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Next, next, clear, next. Last in some other court. I don't know, next. 24. Well, I beg to appear on behalf of the state government. Uh, appellate. 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 Yeah, I am for the respondent, Malad. Uh, what is I this matter? No, I have seen a lot of it. 
But a complaint was received by the police authorities on 31st of January 2022. Then Malad, a notice was issued under section 160. The read petitioner filed a revisional application before this honorable court. That was disposed of by a learned single judge. Malad, kindly see the order. Please don't be too slow. Kindly see the order of the learned single judge. But a prayer made in the revisional application, page 92. For quashing that case. But I kindly see the order passed by the learned single judge. Sitting in a criminal jurisdiction. No, no. Why did you issue 160 CRPC notice? Yes. 160 notice because a complaint has been made against some officials of the contact municipality. And Malad, at that point oh. of time... Sir, you are, you are directing him to produce income yes. tax returns for 10 years. How? Because in the meantime, there are, with the permission of the court, Prevention of Corruption Act was added <laughs> to the cases. Then Malad, until unless we are satisfied, what is the material event? But kindly landed judge not only set aside the entire proceedings, but at that she should be paid five lakhs cost. But kindly see the impugn order whether without calling for an affidavit from the respondents, whether such order could be passed by the landed single judge or not. That order five lakhs we can take care. Otherwise, I think uh, and Mr. Dattu, you are appearing in this matter. Yes, yes. yes. I appear for the appeal, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Mukherjee is also there. But can you see the page 126? Oh, state is the appellant. Yes, state right. is the appellant. State is the appellant. Page 121, order passed by on 7th of June 2023, passed by the a single judge in a criminal revision of jurisdiction. Wait, wait, we'll hear the AG, sir. Wait, sir. Blood, I am for the writ petitioner. Blood, your lordship knows the scope of 160 notice. In a 160 notice, it is supposed to be given to a witness. A witness was given a 160 notice. At the same time, they are asking for my 10 years return. Only because I am the elder brother of the Milad, the chairman of the Milad, the concerned municipality. And that too, Milad, the incident of 2017-18, the affair was started in the year 2022. And Milad, all vexious complaint. In 1718, some Milad lightning one took place in that area. Now, a Milad, the... A random person come and saying before the, the investigating officer saying that I find the expenditure is not sufficient. So affair should be started. On the same, same complaint on the same day the affair was started. And only because I am the brother, I have been called under section 160. And that too your lordship will find in the 160 notice there is no scope in the statute to provide 10 years income tax return. That has been called for. So that is the reason we have challenged it. But at earlier occasion also they have given us 160 notice that was set aside my lord no. and ultimately state went to supreme court supreme court dismissed their appeal and my lord, when high court was my lord, dismissing the 160 notice saying that the reasonable time has to be given and no coercive action will be taken against him for a period of 10 days with, us, with regard to only statement should be given if any now they went to supreme court supreme court dismissed their appeal now again 160 has been not issued and saying that you provide your 10 years return whether this is permissible in law or not, will I kindly decide that. But, with the but if your lordships want, I can place the judgment of the Honorable Supreme Court. The Supreme Court judgment is very clear. In a 160 notice, only can be given to the proposed witness. Not beyond that. You cannot ask 10 years income tax return to a proposed witness. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. With the leave of Mr. Mukherjee, Milad, uh, if your lordships may kindly have a look to the prayers. Milad, there was no challenge to the section 160 notice. Please take the page 46 of the state. But, uh, if if uh, what your learned friend says is right, earlier also similar notice was filed, issued, and that was challenged and went up to Supreme Court, etc. Why are you harassing him? Why are you harassing him? Well, the, uh, the 160 notices were not issued, Miller, uh, to the. Uh... Yes, earlier that's what he says. Let him file the lot of Miller, there is a Miller, there is a prelude to Miller, this issuance of. 160 notice. But if your lordship may kindly have a look to me at the honorable single judge's order, which your lordship would find me not from page. No, no. Are you trying to use the police for uh, as uh, for the political vendetta, etc.? Yes. Miller, that is their contention. Miller, the, no, no. Cannot... We are asking. He, no, he has no. not said anything no, about no, no, no. it. From the reading, the, just reading three paragraphs of the order, it gives an impression. Yes. Uh, repeatedly, now, Miller, the... repeatedly, you keep on flogging a fellow in spite of he obtained an order in the Supreme Court. 
no no, no think... not this not this petition i'm alert no 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 all right you file you file a compilation containing uh, all orders we'll take it up next week we have heard mr kishore dattul and senior advocate milad, for the uh, milad, all milad, all the orders milad, which my learned friend is uh, referring to mr muzumdar these are all on record these are all uh, part know, of this application he said uh, he wants to produce some order of supreme court judgment the supreme court order, order actually... milad, supreme court order as well as the it's, supreme it's court not, judgment which will say which will crystallize what is the scope of 160 but supreme court says all right. The, we have heard Mr. Kishor so Dutt. Not under the challenge. I don't know why my learned friend and, is at this. And uh, the learned advocate, advocate and Mr. Swamso learned advocate for the respondent. Yeah. The learned advocate for the respondent, Rit yeah. yeah. seeks leave to produce the copy of the order passed by the Honorable Supreme Court inter parties and also other decisions. Let the matter appear next Thursday in the same position. Next. But only, but only one thing, Mr. So far as the five lakh cost is concerned, Mr. There is a direction that if we do not pay. It hmm. will be content. You know, kindly stay that part. No, no. That uh, after Please hearing, we will stay. The uh, so far as the time stipulated uh, by the learned civil bench for the payment of cost is concerned, liberty is granted to the uh, concerned authority of the state to seek for extension of time before the learned civil bench. Next. Very well. I'm grateful. Mayor. I don't know. Yeah. Twenty-five. <laughs> But I am a I am running a hospital Lord, mm -hmm. Lord, in the district of Bakura mm. Lord, with 105 beds, Lord, and there is no other hospital within the periphery of 40 kilometers. Mm. I am Lord, economically weaker section uh, uh, society. Lord, what happens is oh, what is this? I don't have this West Bengal Clinical Establishment the, Act. Lord, the act has to be placed. It's all about the law, Lord. All right. Monday. May, I, I, not, may it be taken up tomorrow because my dancing home is closed. There is yes, some urgency. Sir, sir. Not tomorrow, sir. Tomorrow is Friday. It's original Friday. Monday. Monday is a holiday. Or Tuesday. Tuesday. Next. Tuesday. 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 Because the act has to be placed, Milad, in detail. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, I next. I don't know. 26. Should I appear for the appellant? Hmm. And my agreement to not supply not nutritional food through the NGO, as an NGO has been terminated, inside. although there is a renewal clause to be considered. Not this could be terminated on the ground of unsatisfactory performance. And the state had certified my performance to be not of the truest character. And as late as in September, uh, July 2020, April 2023, this was certified by the state in respect of all the 15 projects wherein I had been supplying this diet. I'm not suddenly not when this assignment was thought to be taken over. And when it was not renewed, I filed a repetition seeking for extension of time and in consideration of the... But, uh, Mr. Mazmundar, the extension of time, no. how can there be a vested right? But it's you? inbuilt in the clause of the agreement. But still, as a tender inviting authority... Yeah, and it's yes, qualified sir. by the expression, if it is for unsatisfactory performance, then only it cannot be considered. Yes. No, I'm not... no right accrues in favor of a contract. Please see only two pages. Please see page 140. Not even in the realm of contract, state cannot act arbitrarily. That's not the two well settled principle. And the of law. state takes a stand that you have uh, given yes, inferior that's con quality. That's, inferior. that's contrary to records. That's only why I want to show to your lordship. Please have a look at page 140. No, no, no. And uh, ultimately, the learned judge has also said whatever pending payments has to be released. Yes, my lord. Very balanced order. Very balanced. Yes. Order. My claim was not for payment, uh, release of payment because I didn't have any uh, due pay, uh, dues. From the state. No, petitioner shall furnish copies of the pending bills. Respondent authority within a week. Upon That's document furnished, disburse the amount subject to satisfaction. Event uh, veracity of the bills uh, given an opportunity. The scope of the writ petition was only for consideration of the renewal. And not this that is. That can't be, sir. That can't be. Only, ICDS. I just only two pages. Please see page 140. 140. 140. 140. Yes. yes. The. Uh, Clause 2 at page 140. The agreement for supply of ready to eat nutritional mix shall be deemed to have come into force for a period of six months with effect from 9 11 20 and the same shall remain valid up to 8th of May. Subject to the condition that there is no breach of contract by the supplier, the agreement will be reviewed or renewed after six months, subject to satisfactory performance report from the concerned ICDS project and respective subdivisional officer. Now, please see 145. But what was submitted in court was contrary to records. I mean, I believe not the stand of the state. 
24th of April 2023 just before the renewal this is to certify that so and so that is the ngo has been supplying ready to mix powder in connection with the later dated so and so in the office of so and so and also as per the agreement of so and so followed by the supply order placed by this office no adverse official complaint in regard to quality and quantity of mix powder supplied by the organization has been received till date from any end if nobody dare to give a complaint against you no, his sir. hands will be broken tongue will be cut off yes no, if it is a, if it is certified to be a true supply then what is nothing no, no, the state sir. to come up before the court we, and this intra court appeal by the writ petitioner is directed against order dated so and so on wb number 2292 of 2023 The writ petition was filed by the appellant seeking for extension of the uh, agreement which was entered into between the appellant and the respondent department dated 9th November 2022. The writ petition was uh, the uh, the the lawyer Singh Bench held that no vested right there is no vested right for the appellant to seek for renewal uh, and simultaneously issued direction. for uh, certain directions for clearing for clearing the pending bills if any uh, agreed by such order the appellant has filed the present appeal the uh, clause 2 of the uh, agreement has been pressed into service to state that that um, that uh, the appellant is entitled for renewal of the contract uh, renewal of the supply contract for a further period of 6 months clause 2 of the said agreement reads as follows page 140 please quote clause 2 uh as uh, a, a plain reading of the above clause will show that there is no vested right for the appellant to seek for renewal the uh, the uh, the authority namely the uh, the authority of the um, uh, uh, icds project the uh, sorry the project director comma dr dc and additional district magistrate in charge of icds is entitled to express exercise discretion Hmm? Uh, 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 and, uh, and subject to satisfactory performance report, uh, uh, the uh, uh, the contract may be may be renewed. Uh, the petitioner would state that a certificate dated twenty four four twenty twenty three has been issued by the child development project officer, stating that there is no adverse official complaint in regard to quality and quantity of RTE nutritional mix powder. supplied by the appellant organization uh, which have been received by the uh, uh, project officer till the date of issuance of the certificate the veracity validity of the certificate is for the is to be considered by the competent authority who will be extending the who who will uh, exercise discretion in the matter of extension of the contract of supply for a further period of 6 months the uh, admittedly uh, the contract is a private contract between the appellant and the respondent and merely because the respondent is an official is a is a government department comma in such a, a, a private contract a repetition is not maintainable therefore we find no grounds to interfere with the order passed by singhal gateful man gateful ट malad uh, malad this matter as far as the point of law is concerned it will take some time but since he is not seeking for a stay of the uh, no, order no, what pass, is the point of law sir senior counsel sir malad, malad, point of malad, law whether it should be decided by the learned district judge regarding or, the or malad by the competent authority so with regard to compensation regarding by the indian oil corporation malad there is an earlier writ petition by which we are directed the, the competent authority malad to consider my prayer now they are malad i am indian oil malad took a point he doesn't have jurisdiction No, no. Compens compensation for what purpose? Compensation, my lord, for laying a pipeline of Indian oil, my lord, through my leasehold land. So oh. this is a crop compensation, my lord, because my crop actually I was uh, doing pishi culture. So hmm. for th almost uh, two and a half years, my lord, they held on to the my land. 
so mm. they were under an obligation to pay me compensation so as an amount of compensation was paid but since the land was held on beyond the time which they have initially said so mm. i prayed for you know, additional compensation to this you know, I, I filed a writ petition earlier writ petition before this honorable court and you know, mm. this honorable the writ court will you know, directed will you not know, the competent authority will you not know, to consider my prayer so when mm. I went to the competent authority, well, their Indian Oil Corporation took a point that he doesn't have a jurisdiction to decide this point and this should be dealt with by well, the district judge. So well, in any case, well, the competent authority passed an order in my favor granting compensation. Now that order was challenged by Indian Oil by another red petition before this honorable court well, mm. on the ground that the competent authority, did, there is inherent lack of jurisdiction on the part of the competent authority to con well, consider that application he ought not to have considered my application now the the pipeline is going under your land lordship pipeline was going on through as uh, through my leasehold land and this is no. a cross country pipeline so, and then, indian oils project will not uh, the oil pipeline oil pipeline so uh, was there any acquisition proceedings initiated Acquisition proceedings were, uh, I think, earlier. Well, may i just may I, may I just say the only point involved here is this once the compensation is paid, which is an oh, admitted case. Sir, sorry for interruption, sir. Under which enactment this uh, petroleum, is... petroleum and minerals uh, and pipeline act? Ah, yes. There is a pipeline act. There is a pipeline. Uh, there is a pipeline, act. Is a pipeline act. That was what under, we wanted. Not sure. But under the pipeline act, once a compensation is paid, which is the case here, if anyone is dissatisfied with the act, will he go to the learned district judge or not? Our stand is that once the compensation is paid. The legislation uses the word first instance by the competent authority, thereafter by the learned district judge. The learned single judge in that 16 page judgment held that our contention is legally right. First instance, admittedly, he received 42 lakhs. If he is dissatisfied, if he wants more, he can go before the learned district judge. The same procedure is under the National Highways Act also. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Same procedure. Competent authority will fix who yes, will be the DM. Yes, there the, the competent... the, well, if, if I can say the 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 no, 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 sorry, sorry. There the project director is a competent authority. Normally he will pay pittance, and if he is aggrieved, uh, they have to uh, file for enhancement before the district magistrate. Lots, lots. This district is the identity. Magistrate, district magistrate he, he will probably toe the line of the project director, uh, and uh, aggrieved by that they will have to go before the uh, uh, district judge and the provisions of the Arbitration and Conciliation Act will apply. Not sure. But, but here, we are not the situation with subject to correction. Here, 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 the situation is slightly different. If I may, but I mean, here, we are All right, not yes, agreed. It's so a all I am praying, Milord, at this stage, what I am praying, Milord, I am not tracing my stay application. All documents and records before the learned trial judge are there in the stay application. May this be treated as an informal paper book and Milord Kylie uh, take but, up uh, See, you can't work. Why are you resisting this prayer to go before the district judge? If you go before the district judge, uh, it is like uh, a earlier, you know, Section 18 reference under the Land Acquisition Act. Hmm? Not sure. But, Not sure. Produce documents document to show how much of uh, taxes you have paid for the fishy culture, how much you have uh, spent for the uh, fish seedlings, the nutritious food for the fish seedlings, etc. It is no, very here, here, I am sorry, with Yes, the situation is slightly different. Factually, it's slightly different. Compensation was paid. We are not aggrieved by that. Mm. Since the land was held on it, they said that initially, that nothing in writing. Initially, they said we, we will complete our project in two months, which ultimately took two and a half years. So we <laughs> said that for the crop loss which I had suffered, I okay. please pay me additional compensation. And this is exactly what they have done in respect of other leaseholders of the area. I have okay. annexed those agreements also. And All considering right. what that we'll only do is, was... we will tentatively fix the matter on 11th of January for under the caption for directions. Huh? And on that day, uh, subject to convenience of everybody, both of you, both of us, huh, we will take up the appeal. Yes. I have no difficulty. Lord Chimik, Lord Chimik, I am not pressing any stay. Yes, yes, yes. I am not pressing my stay, my Lord. And my this, my stay application be considered as an informal paper book. It has all the papers. We have heard the learned advocates for the parties. And the learned advocate for the appellant fairly submits that the appellant is not pressing his prayer for stay, but requests for an early hearing of the appeal. 
not shipped. Uh, and it is also submitted that all the relevant documents are annexed in the state petition. Marat. And the uh, filing of the informal paper book may be dispensed with. Marat. Uh, Marat. Recording the submissions made by the learned advocate for the appellant. Uh, and uh, the prayer for stay is refused. And the stay petition be retained uh, um, uh, uh, and treated as uh, an informal paper book. And the filing of the informal paper book is dispensed with. Okay. Let the appeal appear for uh, under the caption for directions on 11th January 2024. Lord, may I file my affidavit of service? Not be kept to the record. Affidavit of service taken on record. Lord, keep it up. Thank you. So we will stop with this sir, today. Malas. Some inconvenience for me. Uh, may I have my lord's leave, my lord? Uh, the item 37, my lord, this matter is mm -hmm. wrongly appearing as adjourned. It is it is to be admitted. It should appear under the heading admission, my lord. Okay. It was adjourned by the appellant on four occasions. Sir, uh, you please he, tell the ACO. Uh, yes, we will uh, bring it on. Lord. My lord, any precedence, my lord? Uh, item 37. 37, my lord. It says adjourned. Yes, it is a new appeal. It should appear under for admission. Okay. Item 37. Because the appellant had taken time on four occasions. All right. My I lord had made it last chance. Uh, item 37, you please take down. Uh, it is submitted by the learned advocate for the respondent petitioner that uh, the appeal, uh, this appeal should be listed under the caption for admission. Uh, as the appeal was never heard for admission, and it was adjourned on four occasions at the request of the appellate. Uh, it, it will be uh, adjourned on three occasions, my lord. Three, three occasions. occasions. Let the appeal appear for, under the caption for admission. Uh, why some, are you? Some, why are some, you? Uh, it is the uh, my lord. Uh, at least uh, I'm praying for some precedence. If my lord so pleases. All right. Lord. After two weeks, we'll give you some date. Hmm? My lord, next um, <laughs> next uh, Wednesday or Thursday, my lord. All right, all right. Next Wednesday, next week. Next Wednesday, my lord. And fairly yes. on top. Fairly on top. Great. My lord, the very next matter is of ours, my lord. Now, today, probably we are being deprived of hearing today. Mm. I'm suffering an injury murder, my lord. My lord, we will, next week we will take it up. Well, any time, your lordship, lordship can fix the appeal for hearing. I'll fix follow. a date, your lordship, next week. No? Next week, next week we will see what is the scope of the appeal. And... Next matter is my matter 27, not 22. 22. My matter is 28. 28, sir. Hmm. So we will stop with 26 today. Very well. Great. Now, the only thing your losses can take up in the next week, Malar, 28. Yes. It will but, come. Yeah. It, it will retain that pos That seniority position will be retained. Great. Only fresh matter will be ordered. Thank well, you, may Ruben. I do one thing, Lord? May I just file the paper books, Lord? We prepared the paper no, books. No. There's no place, sir. Uh... No, no, your Lordship's officers. Are... Oh, no, no, I there is... next My officers don't have place, sir. You please oh. keep it in your Very. office. Very well, Lord. <laughs> your Lordship's Grateful. Thank you, Rumis. Grateful, Lordship. Thank, thank you, Rumis. Thank you. Second up. Okay, and that again.